Welcome to the Wilhelmi School of Organ Building and today we've got a special project and that is we need to make another tool. All kind of tools are made specifically for special purposes in organ building in order to make pipes or aid in the process of manufacturing. Today we're going to make a elongated rasp in order to clean out the inside of made organ pipes or organ pipes in the process of being completed in order to um, remove solder residue from the inside okay and this is what we're talking about ha it's not for fishing no it's for Rasping. And once we have made this tool, the looking right now we're looking at the future, okay? Once we have made this tool, we're going to st stick it in here. Oh, we're going to move this back. Once we've made this tool, we're going to put it in here. Take this little triangular block that we will make. Stick the little blocky here and we've ground down a tiny little seat on top of our uh, mandrel holder. Then we apply a C-clamp. We are applying a C-clamp. Okay. Thing go. And we'll need to adjust our little body. That's it. This is what we are going to make. It will help us an awful lot. Okay? So, let's see how it's done. Thanks. Well, folks, welcome to the Wilhelmi School of Organ Building. We've got an interesting challenge. That is that we have from doing our extensions uh, of the eight foot pipes, we've got a few solder drops on the inside that we need to uh, rasp out. But they are beyond the reach of this fella here. Okay? And that's quite a long one, uh, quite a long rasp. It has a reach of 26 centimeters. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. 26 centimeters, roughly. Well, we need to go further in, okay? Uh, and also because I noticed in a couple of the zinc pipes from the original seams on the inside, there are uh, some drops that need to be removed. <clears throat> Removing the drops allows us in the future, it's not necessary right now, but in the future allows us to put that pipe onto a mandrel and uh, take out any dents that might happen also. So it's, um, we fitted our pieces very nicely, but we do need to uh, remove any drops and any raised uh, issues on the inside, okay? For that purpose, I'm going to sacrifice this beautiful rasp, which I bought for 24 rand and 49 cents. I'm guessing some nearly 30 years ago, okay. <clears throat> Still got the handle on it that I put on way back when. Okay, so, and obviously it still needs a handle because I can't reach in there, okay. And I don't want to bang my fingers in the schnitzel and I don't want to uh, be in the way of the action. So, we're going to take this cool angle iron, okay, which we uh, got from a hardware store a while back. It's always good to have some steel lying around. And let's see, can you see that? Okay, and we're going to take this half inch plywood as a sacrificial piece. We're going to rest this on here 
as straight as is sensible. <clears throat> and then we're going to weld it on. Okay? And let's hope we can do this in a decent fashion. And then we have this thing literally just like a... Well, then we would have it nicely welded on at the end. And then it can reach in. This thing is just about four feet long, meter 20. Uh, one meter and 20 centimeters long. And that should allow us also to go in, in the future, way deep into organ pipes in order to file uh, or rasp irregularities out. Okay? So this is what we're going to do. And let's try not to burn our, down our shop, shall we? Haha. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be back. Well, here we are again. We just made our own crude little tool here. You guys who weld, please don't look too close. But it holds and that's what we're worried about. Okay, still kind of nice and toasty. Anyway, and this will come in handy for us to file out the inside of any large diameter pipe. How cool is that? Well, thanks for watching and just Build your own and make it better, okay? Oh, look, there's a drop here. Oh, well, I'll get it off. Hey, how about with the other guy? There we go. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's go back to work, shall we? Welcome to the Wilhelmi School of Organ Building. Today we're going to continue with working on our front pipes and if you recall we have been extending the pipe bodies and with the round seams for the extensions some of them have got little droplets or excess solder on the inside this we need to take out not that it bothers us now but if ever those front pipes will have to go onto mandrel for whatever reason any droplets on the inside or any additional pieces on the inside could create a problem for a future technician or organ builder to work on those pipes and we don't want to upset folks we don't want to um, make work unnecessarily difficult for the next generation think a little bit ahead sort of do unto others as you would like them to do unto you. You know, just be friendly, be nice. And that's why we're taking those things out. And who knows, we might be the ones, okay? Hopefully not, but there it is. So in order to do this, we're using this Q tool, which is simply a rasp welded onto an angle iron. Now I've got it in the mandrel holder. And because we are pushing and pulling on this thing I actually added a little seat clamp <clears throat> at the holder where it goes into the wall just to keep it in place okay this is will flex a little bit so let's see what kind of mess we can get into so, I mean, and I'm moving this chair because we're not using the chair okay <clears throat> So we put it up here. And let's see if we come across any. We just go around. See? Until it's nice and flat. The body is nice and flat. And then we'll empty it out. And we look inside to see if there's any residue and if it looks good which it does can you see that yeah it looks very nice then we'll put it away and go to the next one
Okay, yeah, that's how it works. Let's check it out. Maybe, oh yeah. Maybe I should show you this simply. See, here we soldered, made a round seam. And one reason why we got little droplets on the inside is because we didn't put protective paint or any other coating on the inside. Okay, so pipe size usually helps to avoid those things from forming. That's what pipe size is there for. So we go around. to the ground check it out and if we find that we have to go the second one time around we'll simply do that and actually it looks like we have to or we would benefit from it. difference isn't that beautiful cool we've done it let's go to the next one okay <clears throat> here's our next fella oh look at him he actually looks very nice let's have another look are you sure there's nothing to be he has nothing to be rasped, so let's leave it alone, okay? But if there's any doubt, okay, if there's any doubt, like here, oh, look at this. Here, does this one look good? I'm thinking this looks not too bad. What do you guys think? Oh, is there something? I'm wondering. Yes, I think there is something right underneath here can you see right underneath my finger i think there is something so let's just put it on there for the rest yes as you noticed i still like to go all the way around don't ask me why do you still see it i don't see it can you see it ah gosh where was it now it was somewhere on the face I remember, I think it was somewhere around here. Well, I don't see it anymore, so that's a good thing. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Here, do we see anything? This one is open on the top. Ah. See? Yeah, let's not overlook this one. This little tag guy that's... Okay, this one here, let's file that one out. And for some reason, you noticed that my habit made me go all the way around. I don't know why, it's just sometimes even if you look inside and you don't see anything, there might be still be something, okay? And of course, be sure not to bang into the rasp when you're removing the pipe or doing something, okay? Let's have a look at this one here. Do you see someone in here? Let's have a look. Ah. It could be. Is there something? Is there something right there? I don't know. And as you can see, it's still going all the way around. I don't know. Looks good. Looks good to me. What, is, what do you folks think? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the next fella. <clears throat> it's a step.
this is a step that is simply nice to do. Oh, sorry. I keep looking in there first. Why, why am I looking in there first? I don't know. Anyway, do we see something? Ah, there could be something right here. You look right there to the side of the, of the slot. Okay, well, I'm not sure. But since I'm not sure, let's not rely on what I think or what I hope. It would be nice. Let's just file it anyway, yeah? Something came out. Hmm. What do you think? Looks looks pretty good. Yes. I think we've done quite a nice job so far, but I do know that some of our friends are struggling. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, some of our friends have got some drops in them. Let's have a look. What about this one here? Oh, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I see. Okay, I bet that comes from tacking and retacking. Okay? What? That's okay. That's what we're doing. That's why we're doing it. Okay? still schnitzel I think there is still some you see it on this side and I think on the bottom I'm not sure I think I saw something there Did you see something there yeah I bet you down there yeah okay so let's go around again this time oh look at that yeah that looks beautiful thank you thanks for paying attention glad we got caught that guy take, take the next one out now I need to be a little bit further back because the pipe bodies are getting very quickly longer do we have any drops in this buddy here oh look there's one there's one, sort of at nine o'clock right now. There seems to be light coming in. I think that's about it, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, that means sort of... Or is it just a speck of dirt? This is my imagination? No, there is something. Okay. Let's take it off, shall we? jumped out of the pipe so there might have been some cool thing there's still something there at nine o'clock so let's try it out now i focus just now at nine o'clock let's see do we still see it at nine o'clock I don't. 
I think we got it. Beautiful. Let's go to the next one. Okay, they're getting longer. Schnitz. Whoever came up with the idea of making pipes of different lengths and big sizes and schnitzel? No? What's wrong with playing the recorder for schnitzel sick? <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with a beautiful recorder. Okay. What do we have in here? Any witnesses? I don't see anything. But because I don't see it, doesn't mean it might not be there. So let's go around it anyway, once, okay, at least. And, ah, see, something came out. Do we see something? We should, well, we didn't see it, or I didn't see anything at the beginning, you might have. But this looks pretty good, okay? Excuse my wavering hold of the pipe. Ah, but we're getting there, okay? That's the main solution. Okay, ooh, the next one is the Frederico Sharpinski. Okay. Yeah. Do we have anybody in here? I remember tons of drops. Oh yeah, here, look at this. Ooh, nice, drop heaven and one near the slot. Oh, thank heaven for solder drops. falling out. Let's have a look. We still got some in comparison to the tuning slot sort of at three o'clock, four, five o'clock also. Okay. Do we have any more? Not so too much. So three, four, five o'clock. Let's do that, shall we? Ah, here we go. tremendous sound on the rasp it was actually cutting I actually stayed in this position and stopped rotating it until the sound turned into just a gliding sound okay okay so we're doing not too badly and look still schnitzel coming out so where are we we it looks a the better, muchy muchy the better. Is there still something? I see something there at five o'clock. Right down here. Schnitzen die Hutzen die. Okay, let's take it out. Take it away, Sam. It's not any further than six o'clock. Go back again. And make sure you allow the schnitzel to come out so you don't mistake uh, loose stuff for stuff that still needs to be filed out. I think we've got it this time, folks. This is beauty gorgeous. Okay? 
Okay, let's get Matt. Okay. <clears throat> chug a rock, chug a rock. Oops, I <laughs> nearly placed it on my own toe. I wasn't quite good at show. Oh, let's do it again one more time. Boom, boom. I gotta watch here because I've got mandrels here, I've got camera equipment. So, what do we have in here? What do you got? Ooh, I see. I spy with my little eye a little soda drop. All right, can you see it? There, see, at 11 o'clock. In comparison to the seam, uh, to the opening. So, let's go here. Ah, uh, you hear that? I think at least there is something. actually falls onto the floor. That would be rather unfortunate. Let's have a little look. Remember at 11 o'clock, I don't know if you guys can see that. I think we've almost got it. It's still there at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, schnitzen die Hutzen die. One inch or so away from... I see some shiny area where we filed just now or a raft. This is beautiful. Ha! Gosh, isn't it working great? See, if you take the time and make your own pipey, I mean your own tools, yeah, like welding that uh, rasp onto the end of a stick. Uh, hang on, sorry. You can get a beautiful job done. Let's have a look in this guy. Schnitzel. I don't, oh yes, we've got we've got drops. We've got drops. Let us file the little supposed to make beautiful music well with proper voicing we'll do our best you hear the the gliding well not really gliding but sort of the yeah you know, the sliding sound versus when it actually hits a drop you hear that Difference. That's it. Ha! We just hit the drop. Go back a little bit. one here. Let's check it out. Okay, can you see it? Ah, this is tricky. I'm sorry. Okay, this looks pretty good. This looks very nice actually. Okay, let's go to the next. And guess what? The next one is the F. Uh, the one pipe that we already Put together all together with the foot and everything it was our 
original sample of how we are going to do things. Okay? Which is really cool. See? This, this, so you can't see through the body here this time, unfortunately. Okay, and the reason is because this one, as you can see, had its foot already extended. Okay? Yeah. This is a finished one, structurally that is. And guess what? I think we must have taken out the solder schnitzel because, can you see? We've got the, tu tu the internal tuning slide already in place. The only thing we haven't done here is we haven't bent it over yet. Oops, sorry. We haven't uh, bent it over for a tuning tool to reach because we need to pull it out for, uh, uh, for priming and uh, lacquering later on. Okay, so this pipe is done. Okay, that was a quick, simple procedure. You see, with setting up, okay, with setting it all up, and that includes the camera and stuff, we spent 25 minutes, not quite, okay, and the result is we don't have to worry now, okay, we don't have to worry if any of these pipes needs additional repair sometime down the road okay of one of those solder drops uh, uh, being worked on if it would be worked on the mandrel then it would sort of create a hump from the inside out and boy some people that's their way to learn japanese i try to learn it differently but anyway so um thanks for watching let's go to the next step which is the feet, the stinky smelly feet need to have the toes extended to fit into bigger shoes. Ah! Thanks for watching.